Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing the completion review of this diamond painting here. Um, I'm on like a different location just because it's such a big diamond painting. I was trying to get it all. So <laughs> um, it's this diamond painting here. It's a moment in memory lane by Diamond Art Club. I got this from Joann's for $21.79. I had a 60% off coupon, so that's why I was able to get it that cheap. It's a 56 by 71 centimeters. It's on poured glue with round drills and there was an AB and there were DMC codes. There were 42 colors in all, one being AB. This took me 12 days to complete. And my main comments were, there were guide circles, there were too many symbols, and I had to add glue to a small section. So, oh yeah, and this is called A Moment in Memory Lane by Chuck Pinson. And here it is. I worked very hard to get this to be all on screen. So there it is. I think on screen, it looks awesome. Like, um, like looking at it, I'm like, okay, you could see, you could see the features. You could see, can you see there's supposed to be, I think those are cats. Are they cats? I can't even tell from the original picture what they are supposed to be. So is it going to zoom focus? Yeah, I, I think they might be cats. And then there's a dog there too. And then there's some person here. It, in, in person, these features are very, very blurry. Like they're um, very, very pixelated. But on camera, you could kind of see it. And I guess that's the hazards of doing a more um, detailed picture as a diamond painting is unless you're going to go psychotically ginormous, which I don't like doing really ginormous diamond paintings, you kind of have to compromise um, in the diamond painting. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, I did bling this up a little bit. I, so I didn't get, I, I did like a massive order of ABs from, um, from AliExpress recently, but I had started this before I even got that order. Yeah, I don't know, like I started this back in September, took a month break, and then um, started up again in October. And then I took like a week break and then I started up again. So yeah, I did this like in three parts because I can't do, I can't sit and do the same diamond painting continuously for that long of a stretch. I need to take breaks. So, so yeah, I did bling this up, but I used rhinestones instead. Um, like the car here, those are rhinestones and every single light feature, like Here's a light feature, light, here's a light here, here's a light there, I and oh, there's another light there. Those are all rhinestones. And then also in the windows, I did put some rhinestones in there too. So these are rhinestones in the windows here. Um, and I'm not sure if it'll convey on a camera, but it's it looks really, really nice on at, in person. So let's see. Can you see it? See, there is some rhinestones in the windows there. Um, and then this came with um, just one AB, but it was in that orangey color. And that's um, in the trees, which is really, really pretty. Um, right now, it's very fall colors in where I live. Um, so it's very appropriate. I kind of wish there were a couple more like yellow yellow because I'm looking out my window right now and I see the trees and I see a little bit more yellow I mean maybe that's a little bit more yellow but it's a <laughs> but you know that's not that's not the picture's fault but I'm just like I want it to match my what I see outside um so um what's so this Unlike the square that I did for Diamond Art Club, the round, I feel like I didn't really have any issues. I, I did get annoyed that the symbols are in these guide circles here. And um, you can sometimes see the white underneath, but that's just me. I, I get annoyed because I want to cover it. And it was actually very difficult to bling this up because like, 
like here. Like, let's say I wanted to bling up this three, two, one. It's a red color because the outline, the outside is red, but the symbol was green. So it was kind of hard to see what the symbol was actually supposed to be. So for my blinging up purposes, sometimes it was very difficult for me to figure out that I should be, this is part of the window and, I, and that, that's going to be red because I was thinking it was green. But yeah, and then the arrows drove me crazy. Like, why? Why so many arrows? I, this um, and these two triangles, they just drove me crazy. I, I really don't like the arrows and the triangles and then the Vs. And because the this and a V usually, um, even though it doesn't look that... Um, it, they don't look the same. Those just drive me crazy. I don't know. I just don't like those symbols. <laughs> um, and for whatever reason, this is the first time I've had it happen in like, I guess a normal poured glue diamond painting is there was like, there was a portion here, like it was up here that I think they must have not put the glue in like well, because I'm I have no idea how they do poured glue, but the word poured glue to me sounds like they poured the glue and then you know they spread it out, right? I think they must have like missed the spot here because it was real not that sticky there, so I ended up having to put some glue, but that's fixable. But it was just a no. I was like, why is this not sticking? And I was like, oh, and you put your finger on it, you're like, oh, okay, it really isn't sticky, so. Um, I don't know. I bought this last year, so um, this diamond painting is like over a year old, so I, I don't know if this is like some problem they had last year and it's fine now, but <laughs> that was just, yeah, I was just surprised because I didn't have any other issues anywhere else, and that was like the last section I did, so I was like, what's wrong with this? <laughs> so my other thing is... Um, so I don't know if you know this, but Diamond Art Club does kind of hand render their diamond painting. So they do, like, I think they hand render it so that you'll be able to see the details of things that you wouldn't normally see the details of um, in just like a computer generated part. But there's certain portions that I feel like they were a little too heavy handed on the hand charting, like... Uh, so I, I I did say that I started this back in September and in September I had like up to here finished so I had this whole section here finished so for like a month it was staring at me um, because I, I all of my whips are kind of hung up on my door and then it was like staring at me and this for whatever reason here this window <laughs> really bothered me I don't know why but it bothered me and that's because if you look at the original image here, you see, you barely see the outline of a window window. But like on this, it's like kind of obscene how outlined the window is. It kind of makes it a little bit too, like I think they were just a little too heavy, heavy handed on the hand charting. And it kind of overemphasizes the window when I feel like it would have been better with like a softer, I don't know, a softer touch on the window. So this, but all the other windows, none of them really bothered me much. So I think it was just this window where they went a little too heavy handed on the hand charting because the, the window, it's, it's not like, it's not a feature that you're supposed to look at that much in a painting, but it just makes you bam, look at it, look at, look at. <laughs> but I think I, I think I just noticed that so much because for one month, like this section was done and I was just like staring at that window and it was just really bothering me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that just might be me being crazy, but that just, that just this section here just bothered me. Every, everything else, I think they, they were a little bit more subtle on their hand charting. I actually like how the cars turned out in the hand charting. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I think if it wasn't just for this section here where I, I was staring at it a long time, I was like, why is the window overemphasized? But yeah, um, so I, I, I had plenty left over, so I didn't run out of anything, which is good because, you know, who wants to do a big diamond painting and then find out in the last minute that they ran out of things? So... <laughs> 
So I am going to, oh, my hair. I am going to frame this. Um, I am going to frame this. Um, so the one bad thing about this, this is a 22 by 28, which I swear is not a normal frame size. So I had like a 20 by 28, which I think is a normal um, frame size, which is normally a 50 by 70, but I didn't have a 22 by 28. Um, I have this one that I got for free. Um, I think I did already start putting some black paper, um, black tape around it because it was too short, but it's 22 this way, but it's 34 or 34 that way. So it's a little bit too long, but it should be the right height. And I got this for free. Um, my sister got it in one of those buy nothing Facebook things. So I'm like, sure, I want the free, free frame. So I'm just going to cut this out. I don't want to really move the, the camera because it took me a while to, it took me a while to get that camera in frame. I'm telling you, cause it's so big, I had to change location, and then, um, and then when I had to put my 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 tablet holder really high up, and then I had to try to get it so that it wasn't showing my my holder because there's portions the way how high you put it where you see the holder. And I could have maybe put my um, camera on an angle, but I like I like the directly down. Um, I don't know. I like the directly down camera angle. I'm not sure if you can hear me because my my mouth is so much farther away from the camera, and I'm in a much bigger room. So you, I don't know how the voice will be caught by the camera. So I might be much quieter or I might be louder because I'm actually speaking louder on purpose. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna frame this. Um, luckily I did have that frame that my sister got from for free um, on, and then she gave it to me because she, she didn't find a use for it, so I was like, sure. Um, I'll eventually find a diamond painting that will go into it, and here, this is the diamond painting that will go into it. Although I'm kind of afraid it might not fit up and down because it's 22, and then um, the frame I got is just one of those ones where it has like the four sides um, that you slip onto the edges, and this is going to go all the way to the edge. So. But yeah, I finished this. My, this is my my big fall diamond painting. Um, I don't tend to do big diamond paintings. If you've been following my channel, it's not one I do often. Mainly because I think I have like the need for instant gratification, so I do the small ones because I want I want finishes. And I get, I don't know, I get bored of the diamond painting if I've been working on it too long. But I finished this! Yay! <laughs> Although I'm not sure as much as, you know, I, I think, I think if I were to do a big one, I think I'd prefer to just do a square big one instead of a big one of rounds. I don't know. Or maybe I was, after I did this, I was like, I have to do a square. So the one I did immediately started after this one was, I was like, where, what square do I have? I have to do that one. <laughs> so.
So yeah, I think Diamond Art Club, their rounds are just fine. They, they, their qual the drill quality was fine. Um, but you know, doing well as a round is easy. Um, if you're a premier diamond painting company and you don't have a good um, quality round, then I don't know if you should be paying the extra for it. Now I think I'm gonna go back this direction. Um, it's just, it's, it's hard to cut these sometimes. Especially the rounds. Because I've actually, I, 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 you can actually cut the actual drill while cutting off the sides this way. <laughs> Okay, I think I got it. So, so this, where's the top? Okay. So this, I just have some black duct tape on the edges, um, just so that I could have a frame for it. Yeah, it's not going to be, I couldn't find, I didn't have a frame that was the exact size and I was not going to buy one. Um, frames are expensive and I'm a, I'm a re, reused, I reuse my frames all the time. Okay, okay, I see some white here that is going to bother me. You know what? I went and got a black marker and I'm just going to go over it a little bit so you can't see the white. It might go on the drills a little bit, but but it's the edge. You barely ever look at the edge. Okay, so do I have the up and down? So I'm just going to use masking tape to put it on there because I'm I'm not I don't want to permanently adhere it to the frame. So hopefully this should be fine. I'm, I'm filming this on my coffee table, so it's actually really far down. So I'm like kneeling and to get to places, <laughs> not used to doing that because my other table is more, I can sit down and diamond paint on it and do all my kidding ups. This one is not so. This was actually my first um, filming location before I got my table that I currently film on. It wasn't the most comfortable place to film on, but I had a nice, I guess, kind of nice background. I'm 
I'm just hoping I'll be able to. Close the frame. Let's hope. So. Yeah, I had the fr frame deconstructed because I had to put the black. Then. This is what I mean by I'm hoping that I'll be able to, I have this, it's one of just these ones where you kind of just And I mean these kind of frames are cheap but But massive frames are expensive Oh, I dropped my tape <laughs> Hoping I'll be able to close this. I might pause for a little bit while I struggle to put this together, so I'll be back. Okay, I tried to put the fr the sides on and I couldn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch out the this diamond painting here that i did last year this is this is my favorite diamond painting i i have not done one where i liked it better than this one so um i've been keeping it framed and i'm gonna put it up during christmas again but but yeah it's it's it was not happening there was no way i was going to be able to put these things on there so what i'm gonna do is just gonna switch them um hopefully this backing here will fit well, the same, I don't have to um, take out the cardboard. Um, I did try it, it, or I did like put the cardboard in the back here and it seemed like it was fine. So yeah, it was a good thing. I, I paused because I spent, I spent a good time, a while trying to get it to fit and it was not happening. <laughs> I went and got my tweezers. Second use for tweezers, right? And I have my favorite gold ones. I don't even remember where I got the gold ones. I got it. I think I got it from some diamond painting from AliExpress. So, yeah. Very unsuccessful in trying to get the frame to work for me. You know what? I think I think it'll fit. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay. So you those frames that um, close white like this you can't use it for something that's the exact size because the diamond painting is wider than um it's wider so you can't really really use it but for this one i put it back into just oops an ordinary frame so yeah there it is framed you now see my reflection high. <laughs> That's all for today. So thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.